Imagine nowhere to go, beaten and battered children in tow. For every one person able to stay in a Missouri domestic violence shelter, two were turned away in 2010 because shelters were full. And it's not getting any better. In part two of our Battered Justice series, KOMU8's Kylie McGivern shows us the financial impact of that statistic. Plagued by a nationwide recession, nearly every organization will tell you. Each year, it's, we have tight budgets. Tight budgets and more need. It's very difficult to meet all of those kinds of needs sometimes. For Executive Director Barbara Hodges at True North in Columbia, those needs can be a matter of life or death, providing a safe haven for battered women. What the, the cuts have done for us is we've just not been able to provide as many of the services as we used to. We've had to reduce the number of individuals maybe that we could help. But it's about more than reducing numbers. It's about turning people away. The length of stay is longer too, which is really why we've had to turn people away. Normally the people who are here would be out and into an apartment quicker. No jobs, no financial support, no friends or family to turn to. The question is, when the shelter is full, where do victims go? We actually give them other shelters to call, so hoping that they can get into one of those. But how realistic is that solution? Our state is such a diverse state that we really see a lot of different issues that go around. I mean, our urban areas, of course, see high numbers. Um, we are uh, having capacity issues both in St. Louis and Kansas City. Just taking a closer look at Kansas City, the turnaway numbers have exploded. Nearly 2,000 in 2006, nearly 5,000 in 2009, and in Missouri's Domestic Violence Coalition's latest statistics report, close to 10,000 shelter turnaways in 2010. If we get close to 20 in our census at the shelter, then we go on Boone County status is what we call it. And so then we save those extra beds for individuals that live in Boone County because occasionally we will get individuals from Kansas City or St. Louis. Domestic violence service providers are putting up their own fight in the face of budget cuts, trying to do more with less. We have a little bit of funding where we can put them in motels, but that money eats up really, really fast. At the hands of the economy, demand is up, but supply is down. We're seeing a reduction on the overall number of grant dollars. Zachary Wilson handles grant applications for the Missouri Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence. And then we're also seeing more of a demand on what actually needs to come out of the grants. There's an increase in the outcomes. Um, so while the dollars may be there, they're asking to see 10 times the amount of work for the same amount of dollars. Often there are things and emerging trends that need to have responses now, and you can't wait the six to 12 months that grants or contracts or different things have to be able to go through. Not when tonight, based on state statistics, as many as 50 victims will be turned away. Kelly McGivern, KOMU8 News, Jefferson City. If you need a shelter or know someone who does, visit KOMU.com. Do a search for battered justice to find domestic violence resources in your area.